I'm Lynette Reese, technical content team lead at Mauser Electronics. I have here an Intel Jewel 570X developer kit, Intel's newest high performance system on module that lets you explore high end computing with a module about the size of the credit card. Later on, I'll demonstrate running a program, so look for links to the demo in the video's description. This high-performance, multi-purpose board features a quad-core 64-bit Intel Atom SoC running at 1.7 gigahertz with four gigabytes RAM and four megabytes of cache. The Intel Jewel module itself looks like a slim 24 millimeter by 48 millimeter by about two millimeter high card and comes mounted on an expansion board in a protective slot. The expansion board is 85 by 70 by 90, all in millimeters. The Intel Jewel is power efficient, equipped to support Intel RealSense depth of field imaging, and can support advanced applications like computer vision and machine learning. Intel Jewel supports Intel HD graphics, 3D modeling, and 4K video capture and display. It's ideal for IoT, robotics, or drones, and is packed with features. The kit comes with all you see here, including a USB Type-C cable, a heat sink that attaches easily with the clip, a 16-bit micro SD card, and some standoffs. The Intel Jewel 570X has 16 gigabytes of flash, a total of 48 GPIO, including high-speed GPIO, and four PWM outputs, integrated 802.11 AC dual band that's pre-certified in over 80 countries, and integrated low energy compliant Bluetooth 4.2 or BLE. You'll need some things though to start. A 12 volt power supply rated for at least three amps and a USB micro type B cable, which are not included. Check out the Mauser site with part numbers for suitable power supplies. Intel Jewel documentation is thorough and points out common issues that you might encounter. Both wireless and Bluetooth have status LEDs. The antennas are detachable. If you have a shield or something that sits between the headers, there's a fan connector on the back for alternate cooling. There's a coin cell battery slot for the integrated real-time clock and a micro SD card slot for high capacity cards. There are five I2C buses, one I2S audio interface, two SPI buses, four UARTs, and two digital microphones. External ports include one micro HDMI, one micro USB port for debugging and serial communication, and two USB 3.0 receptacles. There's a power jack and three buttons, including one general purpose user-defined button. Intel Jewel also supports one PCIe and two MIPI camera serial interfaces. Intel Jewel's abilities don't end there. You can find useful links on Mauser's Intel Jewel site. And although I've almost come to expect it, the expansion board that carries the Intel Jewel is not physically compatible with Arduino Uno. To begin, you'll need a Wi-Fi connection and a host PC with Linux, Mac, or a Windows 8 or higher operating system. Using an Intel x86-based host PC is easiest. Otherwise, there's some extra undocumented steps for installing the virtualization container, Docker. So let's talk software. Two operating systems are available for the Intel Jewel, the Windows 10 IoT Core and a reference Linux-based OS for IoT called Ostro that comes pre-installed on the Intel Jewel 570X development platform. You can program the Intel Jewel with the free Intel System Studio for IoT Edition or ISSI using C, C++, or Node.js. If you use Node.js, you'll need to install a Java SDK. ISSI uses Java Runtime Environment, JRE, and you might get prompted to install a 64-bit JRE if working with a 64-bit host. If that happens to you, the Mauser site has a link to download JRE. Intel Jewel will boot out of the box, but you can download and flash the latest Austro Linux image onto a micro SD card or a USB stick and boot from that if you like. There are several steps before you can start programming the Intel Jewel. 
I found the instructions on the Intel Joule user guide to be thorough and fairly easy to follow up through boot up. The user guide then shows screenshots with a Linux host, but we will use a Windows 10 host. Since boot up is well covered in the user guide, I'm not gonna demo that, but basically you just set up FTDI, USB to serial communication driver, so that Intel Joule can communicate with your host. Then you install a terminal emulator program called PuTTY on your host PC to see what's going on from the Intel Joule's perspective. Okay, let's boot it up and watch the boot log scroll on the terminal emulator PuTTY. I'm using a Meanwell 12 volt, three amp power supply and several suitable power supplies are listed on the mauser.com page. Here are the complete log files. If it seems to hang, hit the enter key. Communication from the host to the Intel Joule platform not only occurs over the serial cable, but you can set up a development connection over Wi-Fi. This is handy if you want to connect or develop without cables or want multiple terminals into the dev platform over Wi-Fi. Let's set up Wi-Fi and then use Secure Shell or SSH, a Linux sysadmin tool to connect to Wi-Fi. First, enable the Intel Joule's Wi-Fi and open its firewall ports. Make note of the IP address, password, and the Wi-Fi name as you go, because you're gonna need them later. The Intel Joule should be on the same Wi-Fi as your host PC. On the PuTTY terminal, type in the commands to set up Wi-Fi on the Intel Joule. You might need to scan it a couple of times. Last, type ifconfig in PuTTY to see Intel Joule's IP address. Either using a VPN or Windows Firewall may cause difficult to diagnose issues. A Windows dialog box should come up and ask what kind of network you're connecting to. Select all of the check boxes. Next, enable SSH from the command line in PuTTY. Type in the following echo command to permit root login. And set the root password. There's no default password for the Intel Joule. It's left up to you to create one. So if you forget the password, you can reinstall the OS image. It's a good practice to set a password, especially with IoT. Otherwise, it would be vulnerable for DDoS attacks. Next, unblock the Intel Joule's ports using IP tables, a simple user space Linux application for firewall settings. You'll need to do this every time you reboot Intel Joule. See the user guide on how to fix this permanently. The middleware libraries can be built by using this command. So type in another IP tables command to unblock the port that ISSI uses to connect to the debug server. This needs to be done every time you reboot the Intel Joule. If you haven't already done so, install and start the virtualization container Docker as ISSI will not install without it. Docker is free. Download and install the Intel System Studio IoT Edition, making sure there are no blanks in the path name. Let's start the ISSI programming platform. Do not launch it using the Windows icon. Instead, find the batch file iss-iot-launcher.bat and double-click on it. It sets a bunch of environment variables for you and then runs ISSI. At this point, ISSI launches and the host imports the Linux OS development container using Docker. It then launches the Integrated Development Platform or IDE. On the first run, you'll select a workspace and click OK. I'm using an open network, so I don't have to set up network proxy settings in ISSI. Now, let's create a new project. On the menu, choose Create a new Intel project for IoT. Select Intel Joule module. I'm going to create a C project. I'm running Ostro. Next, name the target connection and the Intel Joule's IP address. For me, Clicking search target didn't work, so I manually entered the IP address. Create a new project to blink an LED on, pin 100. If you click finish, it will build whatever sample code you selected from ISSI. 
a dialog box will come up and ask you to input a password. If the password you set for the Intel Jewel is denied, the Windows firewall might be blocking access to the ISSI, so manually turn off the Windows host firewall. If you forget the password, you can reset it by booting it from a new image on the USB stick or an SD card, and that's all in the user guide. I want to blink a specific LED on the Intel Jewel, so I'm going to overwrite this program. The sample code that I'm using is on the Mauser website in a file named blink.txt. Copy it, paste it into the program editor on the ISSI console. Code won't build if you use C code and the C++ compiler, so make sure you select the correct compiler for the code that you're using. Hit Run and then Yes to save. The code builds quickly and the LED immediately starts blinking on the Intel Joule expansion board. The Intel Joule module has so much capability. Intel provides free tools for everything from configuring the boot image to full-scale debugging. I especially like the accessibility and programming languages with both C, C++, and JavaScript with copious tutorials and sample code provided by Intel. I hope you enjoy the Intel Jewel as much as I have. Thanks for watching.